Okay, hi there guys, I am Ville and this is Monster Hunter World Iceborne Master Rank and here we are doing a live run against the Shara Isvalda, the final boss of the main story. And we're using the lance because uh, the lance and the gun lance can have some serious problems on beating this Shara Isvalda boss, so that's why I'm doing this run. So the video is basically how to beat uh, Shara Iswalda solo with the lance. So let's get to it, shall we? Yes, we shall. And uh, here we are, far away Lorelei. And uh, the set that I'm running here is uh, all pre Shara Iswalda. So you can use all of, or, you, or you can get all of these pieces before uh, getting to the end game of. Monster Hunter World Iceborne and the main gimmick that I'm running here uh, is that we have two pieces of this Val set and uh, that gives us the super recovery which is basically it means that we are regenerating health constantly as you can see I have the red and the green is just going up second by second so that is something very uh, nice that you can you can use on the shot eyes while you're having problem. Good lord. And uh, doesn't matter what weapon you're using, but you want to have certain skills when you start this fight. And uh, one of them is aquatic mobility. You want to have one point in that so you can move freely in the sand. And then another one that you want to have one point in is tremor resistance. Because this monster is gonna be doing some tremors every now and then and especially in the second phase you will not wanna be wobbling on the ground when this crazy ass crazy ass uh, monster is gonna throw like a giant wind blast at you so tremor resistance one and aquatic mobility one get those and then also if you have a problem with getting stunned a lot then get stun resistance plus three because this monster can get a lot of stuns going on so that's definitely another one to think about as well and quick sheet for these like slower weapons like lance gun lance great sword heavy bow gun etc then you might want to get quick sheet so you can sheet faster and get out of the way and also evade extender especially for the lance and gun lance is good i have one point in evade extender right now Oh yeah, now it's gonna go down. So, because you can't roll with this weapon, you can only do this sidestep, so you need a little extra... Um, extra distance, basically, and Evade Extender can help you with that. And what comes to guard, I have guard uh, plus four. That is good, you can have guard plus three or guard plus five, it's up to you. But uh, guard, guard up, do not use that. Just have guard, normal guard, but don't use guard up at all. Because you can block technically, you can block some of the bigger attacks in the second phase. But uh, like the main wind blast, that has I think 8 consecutive strikes in it. So it's you're gonna run out of stamina if you try to, if you even try to block that thing. So it's, it's there's no point, you just need to get out of the way. So don't waste your time with uh, putting guard up on your set. So that's pretty much it. And then I have I have critical boost. Maybe? Do I have critical boost? I have one. And then I have critical eye level 7. And the main weapon that I have has 25% uh, affinity. So that's what we are... Oh, jeez. That's what we are running here right now. And uh, we're just hoping that there would be a, like a little drop here, so we could uh, get a th throwable and drive this monster up the up the wall, or literally into the wall. Okay, well there's a drop, but that's white. That's not a throwable. You can actually uh, far caster straight it back into the camp and get a throw up over from there. But uh, I'm just gonna do it the hard way. The gun lance is actually great for this monster because you can just blast away at any part and do great damage because the 
shells don't really care where you are hitting this monster, so... Gunlance has the same uh, mobility problems that Lance has, but uh, definitely better damage options. And especially with the long gun lance, you can also be shooting pretty nicely, sh uh, pretty nice shots to like upwards, etc. But yeah, we're using the lance right now. There we go. There's nothing dropping yet, so that's weird. Whoa, 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 whoa. Barely, barely freaking managed to uh, block that. I think we need to uh, weaken this. Oh, okay, it's going down. There it goes, straight down. You can see the environmental hazard on the map. It's that yellowish uh, monster icon on, on, on the minimap north of where we are right now. Oh, hey, there's a drop. There's a drop. Slinger bomb. Did we get it? Oh my god, is it inside the sand now or something? Good lord. There we go, flying all over again. But at least we're regenerating the health, so that's good. Where'd the freaking... Oh, we did get the Slinger Bomb. Okay, so now what we do with the Slinger Bomb here is this area. Here is where the environmental, uh, environmental trap is. So we gotta get this guy over here. So you can just go here and stand, stand over here. Well, now it's gonna go nuts, so we have to wait for it to get out. Get up. Come on, get over here. So just do it like this and then you flinch shot it straight into that ledge and that ledge is gonna drop on it and bam 3000 damage so that is pretty nice and uh, then you get another slinger bomb so uh, definitely take that because we can do this again we can we can smash this monster into the wall again so we're gonna do that definitely. So you can just stay in this area right here. Okay, now it's gonna go nuts. You can just stay in the area and wait for it to face you. And then do the flinch shot again. So we can get another uh, massive damage strike on the Shut Eyes Wild. Okay, turn around. Hey, hey, come on. That was nice. Good lord. Damn, someone's angry. Come on, shut up. If that is your real name. Okay, flint shot. Bam, there we go. And another time. Giant ass rock, 3000 damage. Hell yeah. So that is something that speeds up this fight a lot. The first part over here. So definitely take advantage of that. Very nice. You can actually go, when the fight starts, you can go straight back to the camp with the far caster and get like a throwable from there. So you can start flint shotting this mofo straight away. And now it's gonna go the second phase and we're actually gonna use the far caster and get the hell out of here. And you're gonna see why in a second. So uh, we can get some of these. Uh, rations etc from here and uh, then we can also well here it is here's the slinger torch you can always get this one here straight away if you want when the fight starts and then we're going to the item box manage items and uh, make sure that you have some barrel bombs these small ones and then also replenish your star uh, far caster so you can get back to the camp if you need to because you can only carry one of those, so get another one. And I uh, guess our sharpness is at full now when you go inside. But I'm just still going to sharpen anyway. And now what we're going to do, we're going to put the ghillie mantle on. So the monster's not going to see us when we go back there. <clears throat> and uh, here it is. So 
it's just waiting like what what is going on and you can see there are three different environmental uh, hazards over here so what we're gonna do now is that we want to lure this uh, this monster over here onto this and then you put two barrel bombs down on the thing and now what should happen is that that thing over there is gonna crumble and it's gonna smash straight into this yes that's what we want to do so you can smash these environmental traps straight on to the Shara Iswalda and there's two other ones so if you're lucky you can uh, smash those ones into the Shara but uh but the problem is that the Shara can destroy those ones herself so there's no guarantee and now the actual fight starts over here so let's see how this goes oh no well there we go Jesus we got blasted straight away well there you go so if you get blasted by that wind attack then just stay down whoa stay down uh, because you don't want to get hit by another phase of that and what we could do right now is uh, we could go to the uh, second one and uh, see if we can blow this up or not but we need to be uh, we need to definitely be aware of what is going on with this bozo okay it's gonna shoot those wind thingies so we're just gonna stay away and uh, I, I don't think you can block those with the card even with the card up oh it's gonna do more of these wind thingies it might actually destroy that yeah it is destroying it but it's gonna get hit how does that not hit it oh Jesus guess it didn't hit it well whatever but yeah if, if it I oh, oh it might be that if it destroys if it destroys it itself then it's not gonna get hit it okay so we have one more here so let's get over here and uh, try to get this one and I'm straying I'm staying on the left side because yeah that because this bozo is gonna shoot it down of course so I'm gonna try to stay to the side so it would not destroy it so we're just gonna wait and uh, trigger all these environmental traps straight away okay get over here you lazy ass boom can just get over here oh Jesus that's not good that is not good at all good lord oh yeah I, I think it triggered it itself again so there's no like uh, it didn't get hit well that was unfortunate but whatever okay so let's get to the fight and uh, put the temporal mantle on and we're gonna whoa put this on when we're doing some of these uh, weakening attacks why not now it's going after the cat now oh you can jump to the head well that's good to know okay there we go just watch out it's gonna do the snipe with the after the claw attack it uh, many times it does like a snipe with the uh, air attack after that oh Jesus Oh, it's a good thing we had the temporal mantle on, huh? So, well, since we have this on, we can just keep smashing it to the head. And already we got uh, the uh, head broken a little bit. But you need to break it again. Uh, for the actual farming, you need to, like, uh, break the head twice. But uh, that's fine. We can just keep doing this, I guess. We still have the temporal mantle, so we are safe. We are relatively safe, so uh, why not? Bam, there we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Come on, Shara, come down. There we go. Okay, temporal mantle is off, so now now we gotta like uh, now we gotta be more careful. Whoa! Guard that, and uh, you can break these hands, both of these claws. 
There you go. You see the snipe attack. It's gonna try to snipe you. Whoa. Freaking rake. Rake master. It's gonna try to snipe you with the wind attack. And with these wind attacks, uh, it seems that you can't, you can't like, uh, you can't guard them even with the guard up. So just, just uh, evade them. Try to evade them. This is why this uh, fight can be hard for the Lancer and the Gun Lancer because you basically have to evade, you have to be more mobile. Like normally with the Lance and Gun Lance you just tank. You tank as much as you can but with this fight it is actually harder to just tank because some of these attacks are so ridiculous. Oh good lord, move! No. I was trying to move to the side, but uh, I didn't work. But uh, the cat has the super health regen going on right now, so that is definitely helping us out. So you could, uh, you can try to uh, destroy the head, or you can try to destroy the arms, and that's gonna tip this guy over. So both work, but same thing as with the uh, well. Oh, it's kind of snipe. Yeah. Same thing as with the gun lance. You can actually stay. Whoa. God damn it. You can stay underneath uh, Shara and like uh, poke, poke her with the lance or the gun lance from beneath here. You can actually get shots on the head too from uh, beneath. So take all advantage of that. Uh, Because the, the freaking uh, being in front of her, that is the most uh, dangerous position to be at. Okay, what is it going to do? It's going to do a rake now, okay. Oh, how could I see that coming? That it's going to be the freaking super, super wind blast. I'm just going to take shots at the head. Just got to do the... Oh, I thought it was going to do a rake, but I uh, know. Oh, now it's going to do a rake. You can actually avoid the rake if you are in front of her. So it is kind of like a risky business. Oh, Jesus. Still got sniped. I thought I was in a good position, but no. Oh, good lord. That's not good. Yeah, we need, we need to get some... Uh, healing but the good thing is that we have recovery up three so all the healing items that we're using actually give us a lot of a lot of health so that is good and we need to get some more stamina right now oh yeah this is nasty it actually all these wind thingies uh, come back towards Shara so if you're too much in front of her then you're gonna get blasted by those those wind attacks oh good lord Get smashed, you bozo. Whoa! Just, just uh, managed to get away, and uh, we we need to uh, we need to sharpen the freaking. Oh, here we go! Sharpen the weapon. Oh yeah, there we go. smack it, smack it, do, and some shots straight to the, straight to the. Oh, he's gonna. No. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Yeah, you might want to have quick sheath too, so you can like uh, put your weapon away faster. The lance is definitely good that uh, you can hit the you can hit the face straight away. Whoa, 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 what's going on now? Oh, now it's gonna go ape nuts. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, well, that was bad. Uh, that was brutal. Oh no, we're gonna get smashed. There you go, you're in the sand and that happens. That's not good. Well, doesn't matter. Let's keep going. Uh, that can definitely happen. So now we're gonna... Can we get any sort of... Uh, well, let's just get defense up, sure. Stamina, and then you might want to take some, uh, you might want to take some of these, uh, Ancient Potion or Max Potion and, uh, get your health up. 
because why not? And uh, then we're gonna sharpen. Sharpen and get back into the fray. And uh, if we still had some of those environmental traps going on, then we could use those, but uh, they will get destroyed pretty easily. Okay, the ghillie mantle is still on. I'm not sure what the what the use of this actually is right now, but it uh, doesn't matter. And you can obviously use the health booster, because why not? Oh, Jesus. There, go <laughs> there goes our magnificent uh, ghillie mantle. Uh, whoa, good lord. Ghillie mantle surprise attack. Yeah, this, this uh, sand is pretty nasty, because... Wow, I guess we can smack this uh, leg over here, too. Oh, Jesus, that was nasty. Good lord, yo. That was nasty. Oh. Okay, get down there. Oh yeah, now it has the creepy eye going on. That's funny. Oh, good lord. Okay, cat, maybe you shouldn't be at the same exact location where I am, because that is... That is definitely a little risky, don't you think? Okay. Oh, it's gonna do a snipe, yeah. It's gonna do the snipe. We could just get this, uh... Oh, good lord, it, it hits you so... It hits you so, uh... So close to itself. I thought I was safe, but uh, I wasn't. And now we're gonna see this freaking... Uh... This freaking performance going on. And uh, you can stay far away, and that's gonna shield you. Or you can try to, like, uh... Oh, good lord, this is nuts. Oh, and, and many times it does the... You could, you could try to run to its back, but uh, many times... Oh, Jesus. It does the uh, wind beam straight out. Okay, there we go. We smashed that bozo. The other leg is done. So now we can take some shots at the head. Next time we should break the uh, left left leg, basically. Oh, it's getting smashed. There we go. There we go. Suck on that. So we should try to uh, smash this other leg now. Oh, good lord. I did not... Oh, Jesus. There we go. We're dead again. And this is why this fight is a little, um, a little interesting, because you can get destroyed pretty easily. But doesn't matter, let's keep going. Uh, max potion. And then we need some uh, rations to get our stamina up. Here we go. And back into the fight. And if you use the Palico Vigor Wasp uh, spray thingy, then you can actually uh, uh, you can actually get revived one time. So that is something that you might wanna might wanna investigate if you uh, need extra extra chances of getting at this mofo. Oh, it's gonna do the wind thingy again. Yeah, that thing hits like eight times in a row. Oh, there we go. Parts broken, huh? We got it. We got the freaking scalp. Oh, Jesus. This guy's angry right now. Good lord. Oh, we did, did get its scalp off, so maybe that's, that's probably why it's angry, huh? So you might want to get this sculpt right now when you still have the chance, because we only need one cart and that's it. That's gonna be it. Oh yeah, this was smart. This was really smart. 
Okay, but we got it. We got the other tender plates, so that's good. You just need to stay down when you get hit by that... Uh, that freaking... Um, freaking attack. Ah, oh, good lord. Come on, yo. Whoa, that was nasty. We just managed to avoid that. That was pretty nasty. It was pretty nuts. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now we need to break this other uh, claw, basically. Oh god. Just so close. Okay, get some potion in there. Whoa, 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 what the hell? Okay. There we go. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I was like, what the hell is going on? But that that's what's, what's going on. Okay, now it's gonna... What is it gonna do now? Oh, good lord. Oh, yeah, now it's gonna draw. It's gonna draw all the beams next to it, so... Whoa. It's gonna do a rake? No. Oh, Jesus. Good lord. Yeah, maybe... Maybe don't want to stay. Yeah, we got all the scalps, so that's good. Maybe don't want to stay in the sand, because that is a little, uh... That's a little risky. Okay, there we go. This bozo is, uh... Second thing is done. So now we just gotta take some shots to the head. Although we got the scalp already. I have no idea what the health... The remaining health for this uh, bozo is, but, uh... Oh, now it's gonna go down there. It's gonna go down there, so you the safest place would be to be on the opposite side of this uh, arena, basically. Just let it do its thing. It's gonna smash all the sand up, so don't go into the sand. And now it's usually, yeah, it shoots that freaking beam straight out of there. So just go to the side. Go to the left or go to the right, and that's, you're gonna be safe. And we probably have the freaking... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Temporal mantle on, right? Oh, good lord. Of course, I gotta stay right in there. Hey, come on with your stupid sand shenanigans. Okay, well, that was a waste of a temporal mantle. Just taking a. Whoa, good lord. Now it's trying to snipe us. Now it's trying to rake us. Both of the legs are broken now and the, uh, the head is broken twice, so this is this is good. Just need to be Just need Oh good lord. Whoa 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 whoa. Just need to be patient with this now, and you could be taking shots at the back legs to, or the tail, or whatever you need to do. Like uh, the whole point is just to get through this bozo. You can take shots at the belly. You can take shots at the back. There's all kinds of places where you can take shots at. The back area is actually the safest, so whoa, oh we got uh Oh good lord. There we go. Back area is the safest to be at. Oh Jesus. Someone's angry. Whoa, we staggered it. Huh. Stagger, oh it's gonna do it again. Doesn't matter. Just keep at it. Oh god, it's gonna do the same thing again. As you can see, the oh, there we go. As you can see that the back area doesn't... That's not a weak spot, so the... The claws, front claws are the weak spots, and then the head, that is the weak spot. But there we go, we got the scalp out, and uh, we broke... We broke both uh, front legs and, and the head, and uh, yeah, we carded twice, but uh, 
that's how it is. What can you do? At least we got the uh, got the head break, double. So that's very good. So here we go. Get all the materials uh, that we can, and be sure to uh, get the freaking scalp. You need to break the head twice to get it. So weaken it and then get it. Uh, you get two carves out of this. So that was that. We beat freaking Shara Iswalda with the lance. So. Here you go, this was the setup. Hell yeah. I personally, I do like this, um, uh, this Val set for this, this kind of fight because it does regenerate your health all the time. So it is pretty, pretty convenient. And, uh, because you need to be mobile all the time. So then if you're healing, then that takes, takes some time off. From your attacking, and here we have VIP gratitude ticket, Shad Eyes while the tender plate. Well, that's the head thing that everyone's uh, clamoring after. Tender claw, tender claw, boulder plate, boulder plate, tender scale, tender scale, pure dragon blood, boulder plate, conqueror seal, phantom core or poor dra dragon blood, dragon bloods, and uh, elder dragon bone. So, yeah, that's how you beat this mofo with the lance. We did it, nice work. And the Palico was definitely doing the Choral Orchestra. So... Good job, yo. Okay, so that was how to beat uh, Shara Iswalda solo with the lands. Uh, get some of these uh, skills, Aquatic Polar Mobility, uh, Tremor Resistance, etc. Evade extender definitely. And as you can see we didn't really need the stun resistance because the cat was using the choral orchestra to give us stun resistance. So that worked out really nicely and this Val Soul Bane super recovery also works uh, out nicely. And we did have recovery up 3 and recovery speed 3. And critical I7, guard 4, weakness exploit, defense boost 2, well this is automatically in it. Tremor Resistance, level 1, Health Boost 1, Critical Boost 1, Agitator 1, Evade Extender, Aquatic Polar Mobility, Non-Elemental Boost. So that was the set that made it possible to get through that freaking uh, Shara's Valda. And yeah, you could... This was not a farming run, this was just to get through the freaking Bozo. And uh, of course you could have all kinds of betterments into the formula. And like you can see here that uh, you could use the ice element that is really good against Shara Iswalda and you could use the blast element too. And uh, well the blast is better for the first form but the ice does work for the second form as well. So the Shara Iswalda gem. I don't think I've gotten any of those yet but uh, yeah if you want to get some of those... Uh, tender plates then you need to break the head twice that's just how it is but uh, as you could see that you can do it with the lance too this was i was just trying to get through this and we still managed to break the head twice so that was great and with the gun lance you can definitely do it and uh i don't think we even had part breaker yeah we don't even have a single part breaker so if you have part breaker on you can even do it even more easily and uh, maybe you could uh, use some of those other environmental traps too. But yeah, that was that. How to solo and beat uh, Shara Iswalda just to get through it with the lands. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, comments, whatever, leave them down below. If you have your own uh, setups or ideas on how just to get through these better skills that you want to have in your skill setup, then leave those in the comments as well. But that was that. See you again next time. Bye-bye. Take care. Have fun. Bye.